Hi again, this is a follow-up on the previous videos that I've had about the X-Drive 3D printer. You can see an overall view here. Let me back up just a little bit more. Um, the change that has play taken place recently in the design is that I was getting pretty frustrated with the Bowden feeder that used to sit right here. I replaced it, you can see the arc of the tube, and I replaced it with a Titan feeder. You can see it embedded here amongst other things. Uh, this is a product of E3D and honestly while it's I think it's kind of expensive for what you're getting um, it has made just such a dramatic improvement in my print quality. Uh, as I mentioned I was fighting the uh, Bowden feeder constantly having to fine tune it to get rid of bumps and strings and other artifacts uh, not to have uh, to avoid voids that uh, were, would take place if I went too far. On this thing, basically, I set the retract to about one and a half millimeters, and that's it. It just works. Uh, I don't know if I can get closer to it. Maybe you can see the print quality. It's a little hard to judge in a video like this, but um, the fact of the matter is, and you'll have to kind of take my word for it, the the smoothness, the purity. Uh, the layer-to-layer -layer consistency is such now that, in essence, the parts are for all practical purposes as good as an injection molded part in many ways. Um, see if we can get up a little closer here. Um, so I would recommend, you know, if you're fighting with the Bowden extra uh, extruder or feeders, uh, take a look at the Titan. It is reviewed in a number of places up on YouTube and uh, a very worthwhile change. As far as I'm concerned, that aspect of this printer is now done. I should point out that I used the, a very thin pancake uh, stepper motor. It's quite lightweight, however, uh, other than getting a little warm, it runs about 50 degrees C in this uh, environment, but I found that um, its torque is totally adequate for uh, this uh, design. Uh, you know, it has a 3 to 1, I think it's a 3 to 1 gear reduction built in in the Titan. So, uh, therefore, the, the motor doesn't have to work quite as hard. Um, anyway, so uh, please check out my other videos. If you'd like, you can leave a comment up on YouTube. And thank you for uh, viewing.